Hey guys, I hope you're all well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my autumn fashion month. Today we are doing a good old autumn wardrobe declutter. Ready for the new season, so I'm going to go through all my old coats and things and also all my summer pieces that I just know I might not want next summer. Uh, and I am going to be selling everything that I get rid of in this video, so make sure you stay tuned to the end um, to find out where and how I'll be selling everything. See, can get your hands on something with my wardrobe if you want uh, and I'll also link everything as well because I'll obviously as we're going through be sharing some of my faves too um, so I'm gonna go with the Marie Kondo method but I've got a lot here to get through so I'm not gonna just put everything in a big pile I'm gonna do rail by rail hopefully you guys will last to the end because it's gonna be a long one This hoodie definitely doesn't bring me joy, but it's quite handy to have. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna make like a maybe pile, and I'm also gonna make a pile of things that I maybe need to try on. So this is my maybe. This is a definitely yes. It's a black sweatshirt, and it's high neck, and it's really comfy and easy to wear, and this is the same in grey, keeping both of those. This is my sweatshirt from Mykonos, so I'm keeping that. This is a no. It's a bright colour. I've not worn it since I got it, so it's a no. Yes, Brandy Melville jumpers. I'll keep them all, always. This is my oversized sweatshirt from the men's section. Love, keep. This is another high neck sweatshirt, but from Topshop. I love last year. They've got it this year too. Tommy Hilfiger sweatshirt, I keep. distractions I this is my try on and decide and this is my definitely going pile and I'm getting rid of some things I've not even worn like this gorgeous revolve crop top I just know I won't wear it though so the things I'm not sure about I'm gonna try on now and then I'll show you so like this top for example it's a really cute top but I just, I just got my joggers on so comfy. I feel like um, it's just a bit too small for me. Like if it, it was loose or it had a more flattering neckline. I just think it, was, it needs someone with boobs to wear it. I'm really torn to know what to do about this top. It's such a um, pretty like loose, uh, kind of like really like boho shirt. Um, I do really like it. It's got a really nice neckline. I just don't know what I would wear it with. I guess like cute dresses and stuff. Okay, I'm gonna keep this one. Okay, so this is my pile of stuff to keep so far. This <laughs> is quite a lot. Um, and now I'm gonna do the next one. Oh my goodness, I think there's more here. A new, these are yoga pants and Sweaty Betty. And I don't really work out, though if I do work out, it is yoga, so I definitely need them. And also they're just literally the softest thing in the world. So I can't get rid of them, even if I only wear them at home. This skirt I adore, so I'm definitely keeping this. I love it. It's like an A-line pretty one. I'll put a picture of me wearing it. Uh, I'll link it because it's actually in sale now. This one I got for a video of ASOS. I had full intentions of wearing it. It just doesn't suit me. I look, I look like a grandma in it.
top t-shirt. I really like it, but I haven't worn it. I'm going to get rid. This is my Gucci t-shirt. I love this. I've actually done lots of different ways to wear video up at there. My Anna and Bing t-shirt. Oh, I love this so much. My that's probably my favourite t-shirt. all this stuff back now so that it's at least cleared the space of it so i've just put everything back and there's enough space to put all of these on these hangers so it's way tidier there's a hanger pair item so i can see everything obviously i like bottoms in a brownish shade and then i've neatly organized all my tops you can tell the colors i like and there's a hanger for everything it's so nice everything was like double triple quadruple hung so next i'm going to do knitwear and i've got all my knits out as you can see uh down here and then i'm also going to get all my knits from up there oh my god <laughs> drowning in a sea of knitwear it literally comes up to my chest. Okay, let's get started. Definitely not keeping this. This is a jumper I got from Lulu's. I wore it a couple of times. It's very cute, but I won't wear it again. And this is a Topshop knitted dress. Um, I'm going to put that in the maybe pile. This is an jumper. I'm not sure. I'm going to put that in the maybe pile too. I feel like the maybe pile here is going to be a lot. I'm so sad to say I'm going to get rid of this Cezanne jumper. It's so beautiful, but the neckline is just so unflattering on me. another big one to do dresses this is going to be a i need to be brutal because i've got so much uh, this dress is amazing it's really cool it's a D diane van furtzenberg dress i got for um, I got it from Vista Village for Henley Festival, which is like a really cool festival in the UK. If you're not from the UK, it's like on the river because uh, there's a river, a place called Henley on Thames, and it's like a regatta type thing. But it, it also is a music festival. It's like you go on the day and you wear ball gowns and like really pretty dresses and like drink champagne and like it's really nice and then in the evening we went and Ellie Golding was playing and it was like and then after it was like dance parties and stuff and everyone's in these ball gowns, so much fun. these dresses I'm just keeping for my friends because I'm like a dress agency fan. If I ever go out on New Year's Eve I will wear that. <laughs> I've not worn it for the last two years running so who knows. Actually screw that I'm gonna get rid of it and if I go out on New Year's Eve I'll buy a new dress. No actually I don't know. keep it. Okay so dresses oh my gosh I've like halved my collection so proud of myself. Um, so now we're doing blazers and this is the first one and I'm not sure what to do about this one It's gonna go in the maybe part because I haven't worn it in over a year But I do think it's like a good classic style, but it's just quite fitted and I don't really wear fitted things But it is a really nice blazer um, from Zara. It's like it was like really popular at the time 
I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile. This one is 100% yes, I've worn it loads. And this one, they're like two of my most worn blazers. This one, definitely keeping, this is from the men's section, uh, Levi, I love it. This one, I'm gonna get rid of. I actually tried it on to wear yesterday and the colour was not flattering to me. This one is a my most worn jacket all summer, you guys know. I love it from Topshop, so keeping that. Oh, this Topshop is a keep for sure. This Vogue is a keep, that's new. And then my acne coat, which I will never get rid of till the day I die. So I'm just trying on some of the coats and deciding, and I do really love this coat, but I, because I think it's cool and oversized, but I actually am looking at it now and thinking, no, I look a bit, like, trampy. See, this blazer looks really nice and smart, but I just, I don't wear things that fit. <laughs> it sounds ridiculous. But it's just too fitted for my style. And so I just asked Jack's opinion, because I'm trying, I've got rid of loads more, um, and he was like, yeah, it's up. Have you got your big earrings in? So that's obviously a no from him. As you can see, my pile of things are getting rid of has grown dramatically. Now I'm getting rid of jeans so bring on my jeans here i think it's good to have them all in one place because it helps me to realize how many things i've got of one type of thing and how insanely ridiculous it is my girlfriend stayed done in jeans which i love let me start putting them into piles for what they're like oh like a loose style jean uh with lots of rips in so they can go in uh, own pile. And then these are my Levi ripped jeans. I love those. So they're another kind of like straight leg. I'm really shocked at myself on the denim. I can't believe I've made it all fit on that shelf. I kind of have to. Um, so next I have this drawer, which has got like summer denim and my denim shorts. I've got a pair of denim uh, Tommy jeans here, um, but they're too short for me, and I'm gonna cut them in shorts, and I'm actually gonna do that today. So with the denim, I've just kept really good brands like Girlfriends and Levi, and instead of rolling them, which I had before, I, can you see, I've kind of like layered them, so you can see there's three and two on that one. So I can see all of them. I'm gonna be absolute savage, and, um, when it comes to this okay so these are actually the comfiest trainers i've ever owned though i'm a oh, i've got my blowfish pencils uh, maybe they're in the maybe pile my converse they've got like a little platform they're so cute keep those these i haven't worn yet but i do have them in this color so i'm going to keep this color and get rid of the pastels night trainers i bought after working out once <laughs> Keep them, hopefully I'll work out again. <laughs> White Supergas, they are absolutely filthy. I feel like it's dust though. I just definitely need to like dust my shoes. That was quick and easy. Now I've got to tackle this wall behind me. First off, while I'm here, I thought we could tackle my little, all the bags on here together. So this little saddle bag, I'm gonna get rid of. I really like it, but I just know I'm gonna wear it again. This, obviously, my mulberry. Molds is staying. This little bag is staying from Suzanne. I love that. This little one from Thingy. I'm not sure because that's right. I'm gonna put that in the maybe. This one I'm gonna get rid of too. It's really cute, but I just have others I will wear. And this Suzanne bag I'm gonna put in my maybe because it's such a nice bag and I've only worn it a couple of times. I feel like. No, I'm gonna keep that. I think it's really cool. So, just had a mild break whilst some people were viewing our flat. I went out. <gasps> oh, Penny! What's the matter? Um, so, next, I have a bag of bags to sort through. So, this one is a new one um, that I love. Well, not new, new, but like new ish. And I love it. I'm gonna get rid of. This is like a huge basket bag with straps. Um, but I've just got another basket bag there. I, I don't need two. They're very similar. So I'm going to get rid of that one. These, I'm going to get rid of these. These Ash trainers. They're really cool and they're new and like on trend. But I just know I won't wear them. These are my little minimal sandals and Topshop. Keeping those. Keeping my Kurt Geiger sandals. Keeping my new Topshop wedges. 
I think I might get rid of these though, which are my top shop um like heel cage heels because I'm I'm gonna put them in my maybe part. I'm not sure I'll wear them again. These from Evolve I love, but I haven't worn them once, so I'm gonna get rid. Then we have some more these are all my golden goose trainers up there, you can't see them. This bag I'm gonna get rid of. I'm keeping this one because it's special to me. But this one I'm gonna get rid of because I haven't really used it and I know I won't. And this one I'm gonna get rid of too. I just haven't used it and I know I won't. That was a gift. Um, these wedges I'm gonna get rid of because I've got I've got a pair of castanias and I don't wear those, so definitely no won't wear these. These I'm gonna get rid of I think because I haven't worn them this summer. Oh, but they are quite good flat sandal. Okay, I'm gonna keep this. Um. Um, I'm gonna keep these, 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 these. I'm really torn on whether to keep or get rid of this one. I'm gonna put it in my maybe pile. I'm also not sure whether to keep my Kate Spade bag or not because I feel like it's not very me. I think I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. I've been umming and ahhing about it for ages, so uh, I, I am gonna get rid of that one. So these are my baskets of swimwear, three, which is too many. So I'm gonna go through now and decide what to keep and get rid of. I have got my Hindu and my, uh, not wedding, but my honeymoon coming up. So this swimsuit I'm definitely keeping. It's such a good one. I think it'll be really good for like actually swimming too. <laughs> this is just so beautiful, I'm keeping that. This one is so cute, I love it, I'm keeping it. This one I think I'm gonna get rid of. Literally the amount I've got rid of is all of this and then all of that there at the end. There's like six massive bags full. So I'm going to be busy uploading it all. And as I said, wait to the end to find out where I'm selling it. I'm going to sell it on Instagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a separate Instagram and I'm just going to upload everything I'm selling. So a bit like Depop, but I find on Depop, you get so many time wasters and things and I'd rather just sell to my followers and people that I know um, because I feel like I know you guys and um, trust. So that is what I'd rather do. Uh, hopefully you guys trust me too, like everything will be fine. Um, just like sell it on uh, Instagram and PayPal. So yeah, I'll set up a separate Instagram. I'll link it in the description below. I think it's Sinead's wardrobe. I'm not 100% but I'll write it here. I did create it like half an hour ago but or like just before i filmed this but I, i've already forgotten it um but yeah if you want anything you've seen or things that you might not have seen that i'm getting rid of then just have a look there and i'll see you next time thank you so much for watching don't subscribe if you haven't already i'll leave a link to the playlist below for my autumn fashion month if there's, if you haven't like seen all my other ones like i turned fashion trends okay key pieces and everything for autumn and it's hauls and styling so if you check them all out and there's plenty more to come so subscribe and hit the notifications bell if you don't want to miss out and also if you just want to see more from me i would be very grateful if you did thanks so much for spending your time with me honestly i can't even believe that you guys have watched to the end it's crazy and if you have i would love to know so like i don't know what emoji you could add maybe like a trash can or something <laughs> Um, and then I'll know you got to the end and I'll literally be like, whoa, you guys are amazing. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop rapping because this video is long enough. Thank you so much for watching. I think I'm losing my voice. And I'll see you next time.